As it is often the case, we imagine a given technology in our science fiction scenarios very differently from what happens when the technology actually becomes available. Today, we are starting to talk to artificial intelligences, and it is not at all what were depicted in the sci-fi books we were reading decades ago. My name is David Orban, and this is The Context. There has been an explosion of experimentation and now there are tools available, at least in preliminary beta versions, for neural networks of very large sizes that can provide text generation capacities or image generation capabilities, starting from an initial prompt. GPT-3 is an example of the first, generating text from a prompt, and GPT-3 itself has become the basis for numerous applications. One of them helps coders, programmers, developers, be more productive by completing the code that they are writing on uh, GitHub, a very popular uh, platform for open source project development. DALI 2, or Mid Journey, is an example of the second image generation platforms assisted empowered by artificial intelligence, where the prompt will produce a particular picture. When we were reading uh, science fiction novels uh, with people interacting with robots, these conversations were universally unambiguous. Yes, sometimes the robot would end up doing a different thing than the um, common sense interpretation from the human uh, would implicate. And that would be the source of the kind of conflict uh, that uh, the narrative in the novel or the science fiction movie maybe even would require. But still the way that the conversation between the robot and the human was represented, the back and forth uh, would be uh, pretty linear and easy to follow, easy to understand. Now, this is uh, maybe necessary uh, when you want to create a novel or a movie that uh, a large... uh, a community of readers and moviegoers uh, can follow. But that is not really what is happening uh, in uh, the field of uh, neural network-based uh, AI interaction today. These systems uh, have billions, hundreds of billions, and soon trillions of parameters. They are trained in very large amounts of data. Text extracted from web pages, from Wikipedia, from other corpuses. Uh, Images collected by the millions. And the training that the neural network uh, goes through, lasting weeks and weeks, in order to set the weights of the various connections between its layers, generates a system that is in some ways imperscrutable. It is 
very hard, at least today, to say why exactly the system does what it does. But it does it incredibly efficiently uh, with great results that complement human capabilities, empowering us doing what we were not be able, empowering us to do what we wouldn't be able to do without them. So when you uh, are in front uh, of the prompt uh, with uh, Mid Journey, for example, uh, where the interaction is uh, interestingly uh, in the popular platform Discord that uh, supports the Mid Journey community as well and uh, is uh, also uh, showing you uh, the interaction with uh, the Mid Journey AI, what you do is you have uh, the imagine command to the bot. So you say imagine and then you start writing a scene. A person in front of a camera in front of the green screen talking about image generation systems. Uh, this could be a prompt that comes up with a certain kind of picture. And then you can elaborate and interact with the generated picture um, coming up with dozens or hundreds or even thousands of variants in different styles, different aspect ratios, uh, uh, different uh, uh, materials, um, photographic uh, pencil, uh, in the style of uh, M.C. Escher or Miro or uh, uh, Impressionism. Uh, or uh, you can introduce uh, aspects uh, uh, of the uh, camera lens uh, or the perspective in which it's taken, the level of detail that you want. So many factors that can influence the image that is generated uh, coming <coughs> hopefully closer to uh, what you actually want to achieve at the end. The iterative uh, fashion with which you can uh, rapidly go through uh, these uh, experiments makes it really a lot of fun, almost addictive. And the ability to develop a better understanding of how, from a given prompt, you will uh, obtain uh, an image is what is an emerging field. Some call it prompt engineering or prompt design. And this ability uh, is really a superpower. Uh, even though my mother is a painter, I never uh, developed uh, uh, an artistic ability in terms of being able to create uh, great art. But that doesn't mean that I don't have an artistic sensibility and a desire to uh, be able to um, illustrate my work with appropriate uh, but also beautiful images. In the past, what I would do is to search online. Um, Google has a filter uh, that allows you to select images that uh, have a license such that you can use them legally. Uh, maybe even change the original image uh, to better suit uh, your goals and certain licenses belonging to the family of Creative Commons licenses allow the work that you create to be used commercially as well. However, this selection from Google uh, would belong to uh, the admittedly very large but still limited universe of existing images on the internet. And maybe I wouldn't find 
what I really wanted, or I wouldn't find the kind of tone or emotion expressed uh, in those images. So now I have an incredible alternative. I can, rather than stop at what is already available, explore the unbounded freedom of images that come alive thanks to the prompts that I provide and have never existed before. These AIs don't just mesh up images that they found here and there. These are truly original creations, something that didn't exist and that thanks to your prompt and the artistic ability of the AI comes to exist. That is what I did. Um, I spoke remotely uh, at a conference in Seoul uh, recently, uh, the Code Conference, talking about NFTs and business models and uh, uh, the role of AI, of course, as well. And I illustrated my talk with images that were entirely generated based on my prompts by Midjourney. So this new way of talking to AIs is surprising. When you talk to a smart speaker, you expect the system to be fairly limited uh, in its vocabulary, in its understanding of what you want, and in the outputs that it can generate. Um, and my enjoyment of interacting uh, with uh, smart speakers or uh, the digital agents now universal in our phones has been somewhat dampened and limited by the recognition that sometimes, maybe uh, in the majority of the cases, they will not really get what I want. With transformers, the technical name of these neural networks uh, that generate text or images based on your prompt, the opposite happens. I know that anything I say to the transformer, it will take action. But I have to watch out because the action that the transformer takes will be surprising, will be always unexpected, will be always perfectible, something that I can improve upon either by changing the prompt in order to generate a new image or by taking the text generated and reviewing and revising it in order to better sweep uh, our needs, my needs. This kind of uh, interaction, this way of talking to AIs is not something I have expected. It is really wonderful, certainly not the uh, final way that uh, we will interact with AIs um, prompt engineering and prompt design is not something that everyone will have the patience to uh, learn how to employ. Um, some people will not want to keep experimenting and improving until the result uh, satisfies them. They will want faster and easier ways of going about their business using artificial intelligence. But in the meantime, I think this current phase is very precious. It really shows how large the space of creativity enabled by AI is. We are the drivers of this creativity. As of today, at least, uh, AIs don't talk to each other with one telling the other what image they would want and then improving on it for whatever objective, for example, illustrating my talk about NFTs. I am the initiator of uh, those images, each of them individually. Um, I don't know, maybe uh, in a few months already, uh, uh, this uh, new level of uh, creative scenario is going to be possible. But in the meantime, understanding the power of these tools 
the uh, really unlimited uh, universe of creativity is exhilarating. And I am so happy that these tools are available to anyone. Anyone can get their hands dirty and understand the power of artificial intelligence today. And I invite you to do so, even if just to test it, just a handful of images, you will become an artist. Legitimately calling yourself an artist as you interact with AIs, as you acquire the superpower of artificial intelligence to serve you creating a better future.